the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program known here on social media wherever you may find me I am known as the mighty 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 mm. angel snub nub seven I am your soul brother number one welcome to the realities temple on earth we are not here to represent belief we are not here to represent trying to convert you or make you or cause you to change your mind about your belief about your ideology we are here striving to know there are those who keep telling me that's what you believe that's what you believe no this ministry we are here to the best of our ability we seek to know my belief does not mean anything. My personal opinion means nothing. We want to know because knowledge to know supersedes belief when you know. If you are allergic to peanuts would you rather know that there are peanuts in that piece of cake or believe that there might be peanuts in that piece of cake you would rather know many of these allergies that we have some of these allergies like peanut allergies can kill you cause your death so we want to know before we gamble before we try to take a chance on consuming something that might have peanuts or we know to leave that alone because we do know that has peanuts in it. I can't eat peanuts. I'm allergic. We are also allergic to fish. Some of us are allergic to milk and the list goes on and on. So we here at the Realities Temple on Earth we are seeking to know. Now I can be in error. I can make a mistake but we're not here to lie to you. We're not here to deceive you or trick you. Manipulate your mind so we can make some money. Or for you to become our slave. We are here to free your mind. These ladies have a song. Free your mind. We are here to free your mind. Liberate our minds. So that we not only the once called American Negro but the human being needs to experience true freedom justice and equality and in turn I'm very sure that all of us would have much much better lives <clears throat> You listen to this video, you listen to our commentary, I'm probably the only one who makes a disclaimer to tell you I could be wrong. 
I could be in error. I could be making a mistake. And I have no problem listening, listening, not hearing, listening to your point of view so that we may determine whether or not what you're talking about satisfies the criteria of common sense, logic, reason, and being analytical. That's, that's what we represent here. And that's our problem. We ignore logic. We ignore reason. We ignore common sense and being analytical. And we cause our brain to accept something that is not real. So look here. For an example. Spider-Man. Now we Spider-Man lives in New York City. And he spins his webs. Because of the skyscrapers, you see him tweak, 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 and flying around the city. But I believe Peter Parker, Spider Man, actually lives in Queens. And if you watch the cartoon or whatever, you see Spider Man, he's still. Once you go into the suburbs, once you come out of the city away from these skyscrapers, how what is Spider-Man sticking his web to to keep flying around in Queens, New York? We just accept it. We don't we don't question most of us. How is he still doing that? And when we see especially the the early 1960s cartoon you see that all the buildings are small houses. How is Spider-Man flying <laughs> in Queens? Because these houses aren't tall enough that he can spin his whip so he can swing from house to house. I'm using fictional characters as an example here to make my point. Superman. Superman can fly. How does he, what would be the scientific excuse or explanation, how can Superman fly? No wings, no jets. He just can just take off and fly. That's fantasy, that's fiction, that's belief. So now we go to this question. People always ask me, God woke you up. God woke me up today. Really? Okay, we, we are in the God position. And we make a car. This is fact. We make the car. We are the God. We are the creator. And God is the is what we created. And we put this car together. So basically you're saying how does the car start? You have a remote control, some of you do, or we can actually go out and start the car. And it looks like as though the car is alive. But we are behind that life. We created that life. This is true. These, these are facts. So we would be the God, the car, the boat, the computer. We are the God and they are our creation. So I am told that some invisible, most high, God, Allah, Some invisible superior, supreme being is the reason why I woke up this morning. Now, I have an automobile outside. If I do not go out and start it, it will never move. Somebody has to take the key and start the ignition, start the car. So my question to you 
if I am a creation of this God, you need to show us the same way we ask the question, how does Spider-Man swing through Queens, New York, and there's no skyscrapers, and he's still, I'm coming to save you, Mary Jane. Psst, 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 psst. There's no skyscrapers. How does Superman fly? Scientifically, how do you explain that? You're telling me some invisible force some invisible, unknown, supreme being creative person caused me to wake up this morning. We simply are asking you the way we are asking people who make comic books how does this happen? How does Spider-Man keep swinging in Queens and there's no skyscrapers. How does Superman fly? Can you explain this scientifically? How do you know this invisible supreme being, most high Allah person, or whatever it is? Where's your information to show that? This supreme being created me. Now you can claim whatever you want to, and you can believe anything that you want. That's fine. But here at the Realities Temple on Earth, we are seeking to know. Show how. Where's this person so we can ask them? When it comes to a car, a computer, an automobile, something that we create. In fact, this is, uh, this is Black History Month. And there are many brothers and sisters who invented many things. So this God, this Most High or this Creator, would really be like a, also an inventor. We can show the connection. For an example, I believe it was Elijah McCoy. Is it? I could be mistaken. <clears throat> like I said, we can make mistakes here. But I believe it was Elijah McCoy that uh, developed the. Uh, maybe not Elijah McCoy. I think Elijah McCoy developed the system. Of, of of self lubrication in in, in, in in machines, I forgot it was another brother who uh, created uh, the the stoplight. Whatever invention it is, we can connect that invention to the creator, the one who got the patent on the creation. Show us. How God created me in real time. I'm not talking about no belief system. It says in the Bible or whatever. We don't have to go to a Bible to talk about how we created the car or the computer or the cell phone. It is silly. It is childish. It is archaic thinking. Belief, belief to keep telling folks if it wasn't for God, who woke you up? I woke myself up until you can show clear, convincing, overwhelming evidence 